Hello folks, in this video I'm going to show you how to download and install ZAMP for a Mac. Head off to your favourite search engine and do a search for download ZAMP and you'll probably end up at this Apache Friends website which looks like that. Now the trick is you do not want to click, uh, do we want to click this thing? Well actually let's give it a little click. No we don't. We do not want to click that. We want to click on more downloads. That's the trick. Because you do not want the VM version. Alright. Now you've got a link up the top here for XAMPP for Mac OS. Alright. Now, around about the top, find the latest version, it'll be the one with the most downloads every week, and click on that. Okay, and the name of the game is, do not, I repeat, do not click on the VM one. We want the ordinary version of ZAMP. It's going to make life a wee bit easier, you know. Okay, so I'm going to download that right now. Alright, that took ages, but let's um, check it out. So you can see we've got a DMG thing in the downloads folder. Now I like to have this stuff in applications by the way, but you can have yours wherever you want. But I've just dragged it into applications and I'm going to go down. Now those are old versions I had, but this is the one we've got with the installer. I'm going to just click on that double click on it to be more accurate okay then we'll click on this little beauty and we're gonna say just gonna say open well actually I'll say I'll tick this don't warn me when opening applications and then I'll say open alright it's asking for the password so go ahead and do that Alright, looks like we've got a little setup vibe here. Let's not have the developer files. Let's just take the core files. Okay. I think everything he from here onwards is going to be quite easy. The real trick was just avoiding the VM one. This one will be a lot less hassle because you won't have to write localhost colon 8080 and um, worry about mounting drives and all sorts of bullshit like that. What we want is a nice easy ex experience so we can get building some cool apps quickly. Alright, that took ages. That really took, that felt like about five minutes. Okay, now you'll see that it's gone to this um, David's Other Earth thing, which is a very strange URL, and it's probably done a similar thing with you. Now, what happens there, folks, is when you install ZAMP, it goes into a file on your computer called Hosts, which is hidden somewhere. And to try and do you a favour, it adds in a little rule that says that if you go to this URL, it'll go to localhost. Of course, it's all bullshit, and... What we want to do is have a scenario where we're going to local host and things like PHP My Admin, for example. And if we just give that a quick try, what are we seeing here? Alright, so it looks like something's happening. Let's just go to local host. Ah, this is a done deal. It's absolutely working. So if we click on this Manager OS X, all you have to do is go to Manage Servers and I'll just start up my SQL and that's it. I have no clue what this Pro FTPD thing is, I've never used it. But the ones you'll be wanting to use when you're doing normal development will be Apache and MySQL. Now, if MySQL does not start as may be the case here, it means that you've got another application on that's using the same port as MySQL. Now I've got um, Camtasia on here 
and I think that's interfering with it. I'm going to switch off Camtasia and try and start it without Camtasia on. Okay, okay, time has passed. As you can see, I've got my SQL now working, but closing Camtasia did not help. Just for your information, sometimes things like Skype and Camtasia can interfere with port numbers when you're starting MySQL. It did not work in this case. So what I did to get it working was I headed into the terminal and this is what I typed here. So sudo and then forward slash the path here. I'll leave this in the comment actually, uh, mysql.server start and that got it working just fine. So from there, of course, you can head on into PHP My Admin and build websites and everything. And just so you know, your applications are going to be saved inside. It's inside XAMPP and specifically, it's going to be inside htdocs, right? That's where the websites live and they'll be right here. Let's finish this video in style and I'll create a new database driven website. Now, I have a framework that I've made, a PHP one called Trongate, and it has its own desktop app. Um, I've set this up so that it's looking at the htdocs folder, and there's a few other settings here. So I'm going to just say create new app, and I'm just going to say new PHP app. That's just going to be the name of it, right? And I'm going to generate. And it's downloading from GitHub, it's doing all the configuration, and if I click on view your new app, there it is. And just to prove that that did in fact work, if I refresh PHP My Admin, you'll see that there is a new database called New PHP App. There it is there. And if you have a look at HT Docs, you'll see that my new website is here as well. Okay, so that's how I would download and set up uh, the thing. The thing that we're doing just there, that's how I would do it. Zamp for a Mac, that's what we're talking about. If this video has been useful, give me a thumbs up and make my day. I'll catch you later, take care.